An extremely odd object is circling our sun. The actual nature of this object and its purpose are unknown to us. It is no longer even visible to us. But for months, we have been keeping a careful eye on this thing. It has been dubbed Three Eye Atlas and given the label Interstellar Comet. We know a great deal about this newcomer to our solar system. Nearly 100 research articles on Three Eye Atlas have been published in just four months, and there is a wealth of additional information available that is not included in the official record. Some of it may sound a little crazy. We will therefore cut through the clutter today and get to the heart of all you genuinely need to know about Three Eye Atlas. Let us discuss this cosmic object voyage. The Three Eye Atlas is currently approaching the Sun at its closest point. This stage is known as perihelion. The object will pass within roughly 210 million kilometers of our star on October 29th, marking the climax of its journey. However, in astronomy, the astronomical unit AU is a more common measurement. One AU represents the average distance between the Earth and the Sun, giving us a familiar sense of scale within the vastness of the solar system. Therefore, the Three Eye Atlas does not actually get that close to the Sun. Its perihelion is located about 1.4 astronomical units away, somewhere just inside Mars' orbit. This is when Three Eye Atlas will be most active. Since this is the hottest point in its path, a significant amount of material from the object's surface will be blasted into space. Now, for a comet, this is typical. This process is known as sublimation. Since there is no liquid phase in the vacuum of space, it occurs when a solid object changes directly into gas. A comet's characteristic long tail and fuzzy halo are caused by the sublimation. All the gas and dust being expelled from the comet's surface form the halo, technically called the coma. The solar wind, streams of radiation emitted from the sun's surface, produces a tail, blowing the smallest particles of gas and dust away from the comet. It is an amazing cosmic ballet. Unfortunately, because Earth is on the opposite side of the Sun, we are unable to witness this happening to Three Eye Atlas as it passes through its maximum solar exposure. You can call it fate. The Sun's brightness completely blocks our view of the perihelion. All right, so we know where Three Eye Atlas is now and have a reasonable idea of what it's doing. Therefore, as we wait for it to emerge on the other side, we have the chance to investigate how it got here in the first place. And this is a truly fascinating story. Since July 2025, astronomers have been monitoring Three Eye Atlas. It was officially discovered by the Asteroid Terrestrial Impact Loss Alert System, better known as ATLAS, which is actually a collection of telescopes located in South Africa, Hawaii, and Chile. These telescopes can the night sky for moving objects. On the evening of July 1st, they observed just that, another moving object. Initially, they classified it as a new asteroid and moved on. However, soon after, they noticed something unusual. It was moving far too fast. In space, everything is always moving. Because all objects in the solar system are bound by the sun's gravitational pull, each one orbits around it. We are able to avoid falling into the gravitational well because we are constantly in motion. Moreover, the closer you are to the sun, the faster you need to move to stay in orbit. However, if you gain enough speed, you actually start to escape the gravitational well. Once you reach a certain escape velocity, you can fly out into interstellar space, the vast emptiness between the stars, completely breaking free of the sun's pull. Astronomers were stunned when they measured the velocity of this new object. It turned out to be the fastest moving object ever discovered in our solar system. Let's put that into perspective. The Earth travels at about 30 kilometers per second in its orbit around the sun. That's already quite fast. But some planets, like Mercury, are even closer to the Sun, at about 0.4 astronomical units, and must travel even faster to avoid falling into the Sun's gravitational grip once they get scorched by its heat.